So one of the questions that comes up all the time, where do these people come from? And for every product that we've launched, whether we started with features and then sports, and then we've moved through a variety of other products throughout our organization, we always walk through this checklist. We always start narrowly recruiting, and then we go to broad recruiting. In fact, most of the time we stop here. Very seldom have we done broad recruiting. We start with personal networks. Who do you know? Who, hey, who can write on economics? Who can write on uh, parenting? A quarter of our contributors, when we asked them how do they find us, uh, said that they came from a personal referral. So when we bring somebody in, a quarter of the time, they bring somebody else in. Institutions uh, are the next level down. So we look at where there's already talent in a community that's focused on a specific topic. We, we go to universities, we go to high schools, we go to associations where there already, we already know there's an accumulation of talent and, and, uh, and uh, affinity for a specific topic area. Communities of interest, same kind of thing. We go, we go to blogs, blog networks, we go to message boards, and we, we look around and see who's the smartest, who's most, most articulate, and we say, hey, you want to write for us? It's fairly labor intensive to begin with. And then once the flywheel starts to turn, their referral network and their social network starts to bring people to us.